So the whole device range, what we're talking about here. Yeah, Windows 10, uh, to me, is not just another release of Windows. I mean, it's really, truly the beginning of a new generation of Windows. Uh, we're conceptualizing it um, at three layers very distinctly. The first one, of course, is the experience layer, where we want Windows to work across IoT devices, 4-inch devices, to the 85-inch perceptive pixel uh, screens. And so we want, it's not about one size fits all, so it's not about one user experience uh, across all of these devices, but it is consistency from a user experience perspective. So that's one very important element of it. The second element of it is for IT pros to provide you that IT control plane uh, which has identity management, which has device management, which also has data security across all of these. Uh, in fact, one of the things that I you know, think increasingly will become very important uh, is even for your IoT uh, scenarios, the client operating system being manageable, secure, is going to be very important. Uh, so it's going to be at a premium to have Windows work across all of this for an IT perspective. Then the last one is for developers. Uh, one of the key things that I feel that we did not do as good a job in the previous releases, which we absolutely are committed to fixing, is having a developer platform that maximizes the reach for your applications and your code. So the universal Windows application platform allows you to target the entirety of the billion and a half install base of Windows. Uh, that is a very, very credible opportunity for developers. Um, and, and of course, co in combined with our store, that means you really now have the ability as a developer to be able to build applications and reach all devices. So that three-pronged strategy of consistency of experience, the IT control plane, for every IT pro to be able to manage and secure Windows devices and developer opportunity being maximized, to me, is the dawn of a new era of Windows with Windows 10. So you talked about the 1.5 billion installed devices. I think according to IDC, intelligent devices by 2020 is about 200 million, if I have the number. Yeah, 212 billion. 212, yeah. right. Um, so if we're talking specifically about this group, what is the opportunity for this group here uh, together with Microsoft in the future? I think if you look at uh, what's happening, and I think the, the data you used, which is there, is there are going to be more devices than people on the planet, and there are going to be more sensors that are capable of running general purpose compute than the devices. So uh, I think that generally there is going to be ubiquitous computing. Uh, and you add to that even the cloud infrastructure, our ability to create these intelligent experiences, uh, and I describe it sometimes as ambient intelligence, because you can reason over all of the data uh, to be able to create more intelligence in all the apps that we build. So you take something like that as the opportunity in front of us, and then you take any one of our you know, constituents here, uh, you take uh, developers, I think that building these new generation of applications that fundamentally transform businesses uh, is huge. Uh, people talk about how uh, software is eating the world. Uh, I actually like to think about, let us not think about eating the world, let us think, think about empowering the world. This community, I think, has the unique opportunity as a developer community to really go create those software solutions where manufacturing, energy, retail, any one of these industries which is being fundamentally being transformed by digital technology is being fueled by the apps that you're building. Same way from an IT pro perspective, one of the things is as there is more of software and software solutions and devices, you need to have amazing control over it in order to be able to do the information assurance. So, I think it's not, it's, sometimes people talk about how it's all about consumerization of IT and there's no need of IT. And it's just, in fact, exactly wrong. Uh, there might be very different ways for you to go about doing what you do. But I would say it's at a premium for doing things like identity management, device management in a new way, data security in a new way. So that's another opportunity. As even people bring new devices, as sensors are running applications, how do IT pros 
now have the ability to manage all of this complexity and payment. You talk